It, there's a lot of crazy shit. Have you heard the Tartarian? Uh, yeah, Everyone's Sam Tartarian? Tripoli brought that up. Have you ever heard of Tataria? Tataria. You've no. never heard of Tataria? Oh, it's I like my love favorite. this. A like a bunch of structures all over the world, and and the United States included, where uh, we can't even build it today. Tatari. Mm. Tata Empire. Look up Tatarian Empire. Tataria. There it is. Start, Asia Tataria. Well, before we get into that, have you ever looked into like? Oh wait a minute. They seem to say it's real. Mm -hmm. That was a real place, Sam. That was around up until maybe the 1800s. What? Yeah, and that where was it, it was wiped out of the history books. And yeah. I love the I, oh, I love it. Sounds exciting, dude. There's a, a city. It's like a ghost city in the middle of the middle uh, Middle East. That's in has insane structures. Pull that up, Jamie. And I think the I think Turks the city Minnesota. is called. Uh, Abistan or Abstan or something, but it's Turkmenistan, and they got some insane structures. Whoa, what is that? Like you see those those antennas? Mm. People are theorizing that that those antennas are are taking energy out of the air, like the way Tesla wanted to do it. Like all that shit's just it's just it's free energy. And those are antennas. That they could harness energy. Oh, like Tesla type, yeah. like harness electricity through yep. the air. Yep, yep. You know, they'd said that if he had done that, if Tesla had done that, it probably would have fucked the whole computer revolution. For good or bad? For bad, it wouldn't have worked. All the electricity in the air be frying all the devices. The but then I, w I would think, like, wouldn't they be able to make? Oh, so there was a fire. Giant fire. <clears throat> convenient. Okay. Oh yeah, convenient. Mm. So this is uh, look like this, like shit, like that. Like, how did that happen? Like in San Francisco, there's structures in San Francisco. There was supposed to be nobody there. There's structures like it was supposed to be coal miners or gold miners, but there's structures in San Francisco that were already there. What do you They're mean like, already there though? Like when? Don't they, they know when these fucking things were built? That's the question. Do they really? Well, what structures? Well, or are, in are they San re Francisco? are they rewriting history? That's the question. Yeah, that we got the, structures and we got structures in our cities all over the United States that we can't build today. But like, they wait a minute, wait a minute. That's because they don't understand the construction methods. Exactly. So they basically said they built this World Fair right. in like two years, and if you ask actual architects, they would go, just the design would take 15 years, and to build it would take forever. And they said that they built it in two years and then knocked it all down. Bang. <laughs> God, what, what what did it look like? Mm. The, it's cool. like the conspiracies of the World Fair. It looks like the Vatican. So this is what they built, and then they knocked it all down. They said they built all this in two years. Whoa, they built that in two years. That's what they said, and then they knocked it all down. What? Okay, we're gonna have to dive into this one. Because <laughs> did they really knock it all down? Yeah. When it comes Native. to history, man, I'm like I'm. All of mainstream history to me is sus. When you got writings and journals, anybody could have wrote that. There was no video or, right. or you know. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's just fascinating. Of course, oh. but, but here's the thing, though. Why is it so fascinating? Why is because it so interesting to find like secrets? Because things that because the people about. that are running shit, all they do is shove lies down our throats from the day we're born. So it's fascinating finding out what the react what what the truth is. Yeah, and that's what it is. Try that's all to just. Could be wrong, but we're trying to find the truth. Look at that. They said they built that in two years, dude. All the structures, the, yeah. the sculptures and everything? Yeah. How many people? Did they build all those buildings? That's what they're saying. So why did why would they knock those down? They knocked those down? The Wild West and all that shit was rewritten history. Like we had to start over with the horse and buggy. They figured it all out, destroyed it. Well, there's a lot of theories about civilization being reset. You don't think so? Like after a fire, you think that they would have decided to preserve it? What if preserving it would cost a shitload of money? These were two Find separate something? events. Two separate events. The fires were in Chicago at the was pre nineteen hundred. Oh, what is that? This was twenty years later in the San Francisco World Fair. That was what you were showing me uh -huh, right there. Uh -huh. Oh, I thought it was the same World Fair. Nope, nope. nope. So there's two World Fairs that caught fire. No, no. This, one of them they just destroyed. This one, yeah. This one says they destroyed it for no reason. I don't. That's where I don't. We didn't get there yet. So you think they did it because they want to hide history? Yeah. And you're not even high. <laughs> that, um, did you know bricks are, uh, conduct electricity? 
bricks do? Yeah. Did How you know so? Um, Here it is. Bricks can be charged up to 10,000 times, says scientists. Yeah, isn't, that, red isn't that crazy? It's crazy. The red pigment of bricks converted into a plastic compound can be used to conduct and store electricity. A study published by Nature Communications found. Whoa, so your fucking house could be a battery? Yeah, so that's what, that's what this conspiracy theory is.